Rose O'Neill is my great aunt. Actually, my grandfather was Rose's older brother, and uh, Rose was born in 1874. She started illustrating in magazines uh, early as 1891. A lot of popular magazines at the time, Harper's Bazaar, the Puck Magazine, New York Life. One of her things she's most noted for was creating the Cupid doll. But the Cupid doll, they started making the dolls they were in magazines in 1909. By 1912, they were manufactured in Germany and they were selling dolls. And by 1914, their popularity went worldwide. And she created the Ho-Ho, which was her last creation. The Ho-Ho was uh, kind of a Buddha-like figurine, a little laughing, cheery fellow. Then she thought it might cheer people up and what have you. But Cupid's got popular, well that was something that they made so many different things with the Cupid's. They, we have metal pieces over here that have lamps and uh, bud vases and inkwells, bookends, all different kind of items. And the manufacturer that made all of these items was the Ronson Cigarette Lighter Company. My favorite piece of artwork is one with the little girl from the other side of the tracks. I mean, she has a little muff to keep her hands warm and a nice hat on and what have you. And visiting this lady with, she was doing the washing on a scrub board in a wooden tub and the two little boys peeking around the corner. It's just the expression on their faces is what really gets me because she could she could bring out the looks that of what people would look like at the time. When she was going to school, she used to uh, draw uh, frogs and what have you for the other kids in the classes. And she'd draw one and kids would see it and they'd, oh, well, draw me one. And she'd draw them one. And But uh, it usually she'd draw frogs and rabbits and stuff like that.